In today's video, I'm gonna take you out to Anna Maria Island to show you how beautiful it is out there. I also score an antique <laughs> and I, a lot of giggles with my mom right. and We're some jaywalking. jaywalking. <laughs> I'm jaywalking with my mother. Hi, I'm Lindsay McCaskey of Gulf Coast Vintage and Thrift. I live in Bradenton, Florida. I work in Sarasota, Florida in the real estate industry. This here is Daisy the Dingo. She is the best girl ever. Anyway, even though I don't know what I'm talking about half the time, I love to sit down and talk to you all about one of my passions, which is vintage and thrifting. It comes with the territory. Um, so come with me while I thrift and score some beautiful clothing. Mid-century glass and decorative items. Furniture that has a boho flair and art. After a successful thrift haul, I take the items home and I photograph them for my eBay store where I'm finally starting to see some profits. I sell mid-century glass, mid-century decorations, and mid-century clothes as my specialty on my eBay store and occasionally an antique from the 1800s. Thank you so much for watching my channel and I hope that God blesses you and your family. Hi everyone, today is Wednesday, April 17th. Where is the year going? I can't believe how time, uh, how fast time is flying. It feels like it was just uh, January 1st and now all of a sudden it's like halfway through April. But anywho, um, I'm really excited for this week's video. So last weekend, my mom had Saturday off and so we spent the day together thrifting at Good, Goodwill and a local thrift store in downtown Bradenton called Loving Hands Thrift Store. I've been there before and I filmed a video there, so I'll try to link that somehow to this video. And then we also went to a really cool coffee shop, garden, and boutique called the Fox Mercantile that my coworker told, excuse me, that my coworker told me about and it was beautiful. My mom was obsessed with that place and so was I. The coffee was excellent too. And um, then we went out to Anna Maria Island and just kind of walked around and looked at the water and we went out to the pier and it was just a really great day. I uh, love spending quality time with my mom, with my grandparents, with all my loved ones. That is the main reason why I moved back to Florida. Well, the beaches, but my family, they mean everything to me. So yes, I'll be posting that video on Sunday. So you're prop you're watching this on Sunday. So next week on Sunday, I'll be uploading a video about my weekend in Mount Dora. So in a few days, it'll be Saturday and I'm gonna be hitting the road for Mount Dora, Florida. And I'm going to go to an outdoor flea market called Redinger's, which is a humongous flea market. It's outdoors and indoors and um, they just have tons of vendors that come and set up tables and you, you can find everything there. It's, it's amazing. So I love Mount Dora. It's one of my favorite places in Florida. Um, it's beautiful, so I can't wait to show you that next week. So stay tuned. I post every week on Sundays. Thank you all for watching. Um, stay tuned on Sundays. I'm going to try to keep posting every single week and I hope that God blesses you and your family. No matter what you're going through, God is always there and he just wants us to turn to him and he wants us to give him glory. So I give glory to God for everything good that's going on in my life. Um, I'm so thankful to God for the blessings that I have and I just can't wait to see what the future brings. So I hope you all have a wonderful week and thank you so much for watching. Mama. She does the jewelry. I think I watched her with you. She does like the big auctions, right? Yeah.
One of the things that I love about Loving Hands Thrift Store is that most of their dresses and shirts are only $5 each. So it's a great place to find things to resell, but also I love to shop here for my own wardrobe. I've, I picked up a couple of skirts and a dress. Um, this was, yeah, I bought both of those skirts to wear to work and they were $5 each. You can't beat that. Even Goodwill isn't that cheap anymore so um, I really like that plus I love shopping here because it's a nonprofit and they give back to the community and I found out later on which I'll show you the brochure they have a program that you can sign up for um, I think it's only for men but it's kind of like an addiction rehab where you live in a facility and they help you recover from different addictions um, drug, pornography, gambling, and um, they do it. In, it's a faith-based way, so they teach you um, how to live using the Bible, and it's just, it seems like a really great program to help people get back on the right track in their life. So some of the money that they receive from the thrift store goes back into that program. So that's another reason why I love shopping here. I really liked the shape of this dress, but I don't know why I've never been a fan of polka dots and I just don't own anything that has polka dots on it. I don't know why. I did buy this dress. This is the first or the third thing that I bought to wear to work. It's a really pretty pastel blue Calvin Klein dress. And again, only $5. You can't beat that. That was a really pretty Talbot's dress, and again, $5, so they don't raise their prices even for higher-end brand names. So for the first time, I actually went into their little book room and they have a really great deal. All their books are for books for $1, and I found a gorgeous copy of Alice in Wonderland and it was like an old print and it had the original artwork which i've seen the artwork everywhere it's really famous now like they make stickers out of it and t-shirts but i was so excited to find that i gave it to one of my good friends who loves alice in wonderland and collects this alice in wonderland stuff This is also a great place to get dishes if you need them. They always have them reasonably priced and the last time I was there they had that same discount where a certain tag was 75% off so you can't beat that. They had a whole shelf of like little figurines. I don't collect these or know anything about them but I do know that there are some highly collectible figurines out there. That can be worth quite a bit of money. I just don't know anything about them, so I usually just skip over the figurines. Um, maybe someday I'll learn a little bit more about them and try to find some to resell or even start my own collection. This was the cutest wreath. Somebody had crocheted the flowers and the little bees on the wreath, and it was just adorable.
I don't really collect things, but I do collect anything that's mermaid or camels. I've had a stuffed camel since I was a baby, and I still have it. It's, I, uh, all of the like fur has been rubbed off of it, but it's still my favorite stuffed animal. And then this was some beautiful depression glassware. Um, I was really excited to find this. I did not end up buying it. They did have it priced a little bit higher, but it's actually worth that or even more. Um, but anytime I find depression wear at thrift stores, I usually buy it because it sells pretty quickly on my eBay store. And it, um, I mean, it's old, like it gets its name from being from the depression. So 40s, 50s, 60s, well, maybe not the 60s. Oh gosh, now I sound like an idiot. But anyway, it's from that era and the glass is really old and they had a lot of different colors and the blue seems to do really well. But I did not buy that set. Um, however, I'm sure someone else did. It's probably not there anymore. Okay, I had to Google when the Great Depression was. Do not make fun of me. It was from um, 1929 to 1939. So <laughs> if you find glass from the Depression era, pick it up because it's very old. And it was very colorful. They had purple, yellow. Well, they had all the colors. And some of it will actually glow under a black light. So it's highly collectible. And I always am able to sell it for... Depending on what it is that I'm selling, I usually sell like a set of plates with maybe saucers and it can sell for like 40 or $50. Again, it just depends on what you have in your collection. This was a really cool brutalist sculpture they were flowers on a wooden base and I thought about buying this for a minute because brutalist sculptures and art is very collectible and it sells really well um, but my mom actually <laughs> I put that back and my mom ended up picking that up and buying it so I'm glad that one of us took it home here is the antique little bull that I found it's called electro Electro plate, electro plate nickel, and that stamp on the bottom is the stamp um, that the silversmith would have used. That's their sign uh, or their name, their logo, I guess you would say. And electro plate nickel is fused to a sterling silver base, and it has a lot of different patterns. It could be. Um, recently, I found a candlestick that was a thistle so it was really pretty it all had all these little flowers and leaves and it was very intricate and <laughs> I'm very excited I picked that up because here's why those were made between 1830 to 1920 so if you find one and you especially if you see the little markings on the bottom pick them up because they are really old and they can sell for quite a bit of money I did sell the electro plate nickel candlestick that I found I did my research and I found out it was from like the 1830s or 1840s and I sold it for like $70 and um, so I'm excited to do some research on the piece that I found and figure out who made it and when and how much it's worth and uh, list it for sale and this was a really beautiful vintage dress so I did find they had a rack in the front of the store with their vintage dresses and they were selling those for $10 each. Um, not just vintage, they were also selling like more formal dresses. That's not vintage, but it's a really pretty lace dress. This one still had its tags. So $10 is the most expensive um, price that I found on dresses. Or was that 13? Either way, that's, that's a really great deal. Again, it had its tag. I mean, brand new, never worn. You can't beat that. I did buy this dress. It was a really beautiful silver dress with metallic details. It had the belt and it looks like it's probably from the 70s or the 80s and it's in just perfect condition. And I bought that for, I think, $10 and it's just so pretty. 
I found this doll. My mom told me that it's made out of muslin. muslin. It's a cloth doll. And it just had so many details. I really love this piece. I'm not selling this. I'm actually going to keep it. I don't really like dolls or collect dolls. But there's just something about this one that I really loved. So she came home with me. Vintage. This is oh, cool. Yeah. A little ice bucket. Well, well, they're kind of. My mom and I were just talking about how cool those old vintage ice buckets are, but they don't sell very well. And we were just talking about how people don't really use them anymore. So it's just one of those things. Um, this is the brochure about the addiction program I was talking about. And this is my haul. And how fun to be involved with something so wonderful. <laughs> no, it's just furniture. I just wanted to show you. <laughs> <laughs> How did we do today, Mom? We did fantastic. <laughs> All right, we're jaywalking. <laughs> I'm jaywalking with my mother. We're going across the street to this amazing little. I've been here one time before. Uh, it's all like upcycled, it's vintage, it's thrift. They're only open a couple of days a week, so I'm really excited to get back in here. <laughs> well, we made it, Mom. It's oh, cute. yeah, there's a cool coffee shop over there, but, oh, but we should hit one on the island, though. Right. We'll hit one on the island. I absolutely love this little store. I talked to the owner and they are, it, this was actually a warehouse slash garage and it was sitting empty and they talked to the owners and um, asked them if they could rent it out and use it to sell all of their items. And so that's how they came to be. And, oh, I loved that little wicker lamp, by the way, that was really cute. But anyway, they display everything so well here and it's just fun walking around and looking at everything. And they are actually open Saturday through Wednesday and they close, I think, from 10 to 4 p.m. What's funny is we were at this store at around probably three o'clock in the afternoon. And later on that evening, we went to a Goodwill that was sort of in this neighborhood because we were on our way out to Anna Maria Island. So we went to this Goodwill on Cortez Road and I swear I saw the owner in there. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but it looked just like her. So I bet she does what I like what we all do. I think she you know, goes to a lot of different places and then upcycles or just resells vintage items. But the way that she displays everything is just, I love it. It's very aesthetically pleasing. She had classic rock just like blaring over the speakers, which was really fun. It made it more fun to be there, but I did have to mute um, that for purposes of posting this on YouTube but what a fun place if you're in the area you need to go there <laughs> oh, I'm wearing my dress that I thrifted it's an American Eagle dress from Goodwill that I got for like eight dollars this was a really pretty blue coral necklace I've never seen blue coral before I got maybe they dye it that color I'm not sure but I really liked this piece I think it was around twenty two dollars
I really liked this bohemian style rope purse. It was really cool. I didn't see a price. I probably should have just asked her how much it was. Um, I really wanted to buy that. It was really, I just love that style. I really liked this and so did my mom. She ended up buying it. In the back here, they had their stuff that's not for sale and I saw this cactus lamp and I was totally obsessed. She said that one of the arms is missing so they're going to put like a flower um, like a cactus flower on the hole where the arm is missing, but that was such a neat piece. And then she just had a lot of really great jewelry. It was very reason reasonably priced, and I ended up picking up a few necklaces. So this is just a great place. Again, if you're in downtown Bradenton, you have to stop by Loving Hand Thrift Store, and then right across the street is this store, which is called um, Sanguda Vita. Sorry, I'm butchering that. Anyway, um, you need to go there. They have really cool vintage and boho style jewelry and just all sorts of fun vintage and upcycled decorations that you can look at and buy. And then I always just get a lot of really great ideas for displaying things when I come into the store. This set was really fun. I ended up buying this. It's not real turquoise or real sterling silver, but it does look a lot like it. So um, I ended up picking that up. Look at that, I found another copy of Alice in Wonderland. It was just one of those days, I guess. I have never seen a panda necklace before. Look how unusual that is. This is why you need to stop at this place. You can find one of a kind items that plate was absolutely beautiful. I love those colors, so I ended up buying that. And then they had an antique locket. It was so delicate, so beautiful. I didn't buy it, but I'm kind of I kind of wish that I had because that was a beautiful piece. All right, now we are in a store called Fox Mercantile. It's right before you go into Anna Maria Island. It's just right before the bridge. And this is not vintage or thrift, it's a boutique, but it's so beautiful. 
they have a garden outside where you can sit and um, eat like some I think they have some light foods that you can buy they have a coffee shop with really great coffee and they have a store inside with all these really just like cool things rustic um, items and it's just so boho I loved it my mom loved it too she was just like I'm coming back here I <laughs> so we had a really great time needless to say This is the main part of their garden and they were setting up tables for an event and they have a little food truck outside with cocktails. After visiting Fox Mercantile, we finally got onto the island, Anna Maria Island, and we drove to the north tip of the island and just walked along the beach for a little bit. It was actually really crowded, which we were surprised by, but I shouldn't be surprised anymore <laughs> to see the beaches crowded here in Florida. <laughs> I'm shocked. I've never seen a turtle at the beach before. They're so fast, aren't they? <laughs> He's going pretty fast. There's the Skyway Bridge right out across the street, or across the street, across the water. Yeah. <laughs> so this is where I get it from. I always wondered, why do I like to take so many pictures? Now I know. Apple doesn't fall, fall too far from the tree. <laughs> You're so cute! Giggling and joking around, my mom and I walked along the beach down to City Island Pier and we took a lot of pictures and videos and just enjoyed the beauty of the area and it yeah. was such a beautiful day outside and it was just so fun <laughs> spending time with my mom. <laughs> <laughs> His feet are just paddling away. We finished up the day by going to our fourth store, which was a Goodwill in Bradenton off of Cortez Road. I loved this mahogany bar cart on wheels. It's so cool. And look at this little phone table as well. Absolutely love these pieces. Not something you see very often anymore. And it just reminds me of something from like a Columbo episode. I didn't buy them. I wanted to, but again, where am I going to sell these? I'm not on social media. I don't use Facebook Marketplace, but maybe I st should start trying to sell things locally. And then these glasses are um, actually pretty expensive. They go for a lot. They weren't in the greatest shape though, and I think they were selling each glass for like $4, but um, a set like that can go from anywhere from $50 to $80. I found a very pretty set of Anchor Hawking plates and bowls with gold rims and silver rims. 
They were selling them for like three or four dollars each. And then I found this amethyst depression glass. And I I did not end up buying that or this. These, these were um, really pretty like Italian glass trays. And I love the iridescent sheen. But I was just tired, y'all, and I didn't feel like buying or dealing with anything else.